Well, not in our backyard. That is what some in Summit County are saying tonight. The plans to create a gravel pit on the banks of the Blue River. Peak Materials owns the property 10 miles north of Silverthorne, a few miles away from another current operational gravel extraction site along Highway 9. Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Kroschel is live where community members are talking about this new project right now, Matt. And Don, this community meeting set up to give Peak Materials a chance to kind of meet their neighbors and uh, present their plans. But a lot of the folks we talked to inside here tonight say they are not having it. This may very well be the most bucolic, pristine ranching valley in all of Colorado. 80 acres, it's contiguous with the uh, uh, Blue River, which is right over there where the trees are. John Fielder is best known for his images of Colorado's beauty, captured and displayed through his photography. But these days, he's spending a lot of time working to block a plan that would result in a gravel extraction site at the bottom of his driveway. I don't want lower Blue River water or the wetlands along the river affected so yeah there's a lot of us who came here for solitude and uh, gravel mining would end that very quickly. The former horse boarding ranch purchased by Peak Materials in October. The company wants to expand their operations. We would like to extract gravel for a number of years and at the end uh, we actually want community input on what they want to see there. That would result in hundreds of truck trips along Highway 9 each day to the processing center nearby. 115 of those big trucks a day. Well, round, round trip. trips. So, yeah, they go that way full, back this way empty. So 230 one-way trips. Peak materials must get approval first with a conditional use permit. This is a long-term outlook. We have to be looking for these opportunities always. We want to service this community for a long time. Something some neighbors are vowing to fight no matter what. You know, frankly, uh, gravel's got to come from somewhere. This is a fast-growing county, but this is probably the worst possible place a gravel mine could go. It's a packed house inside the meeting going on. It's expected to wrap up around 7 o'clock tonight, but expect to hear a lot more about this proposal and the fight uh, against it in the coming months. We're live tonight in Silverthorne. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First. Matt, thank you. And Denver's